What's going on? How y'all doing out there? What's happening? This video going to be about Colin Kaepernick and the Madden 22. And they said he was still better than three quarterbacks. Now, last year was 14. This year is three. The interesting thing is the brother hasn't even played in almost five years. But he still resonates a high score. Because the systematic racism of the NFL, the institutionalized of it, knows the injustices that this man should still be playing, you know. They know he should still be out here playing. I mean, come on now. How is it that you, like I said before, you know Tebow got cut. Tebow never was going to make it. It's not like he had a legit a legit career. Colin Kaepernick had a legit career, okay? I'm looking at some of these cats that still got a career, and I'm thinking, how? You know, how? Andy Dalton still got a career? How? Nick Foles did win and came up big for Philadelphia. Now, I'm not going to take nothing from him, but he's a backup quarterback. Colin Kaepernick wasn't a backup quarterback. I think Colin Kaepernick could do as good as him, given the right circumstances. I think Colin Kaepernick could do as good as Cam Newton, given the right circumstances. Matthew Statpatter, who's going to the Rams, put up a shut-up time. I know he could match him. Matt Ryan, too. I can name these turkeys out here who I know Colin Kaepernick could match if given an opportunity. Because I'm not talking about, like, you got some guys who are just so... And I know Matt Ryan, people going to say, oh, he was MVP and all that. And what did he do? Choked the Super Bowl and been downhill ever since. He lost in the Super Bowl just like Kaepernick, except there was a suspect call and Michael Crabtree didn't get in that game. We'll never know. But what's Matt Ryan done since that loss? You know, so when you look at these things, I can go down the line. I'm looking at some of these teams and some of these situations the brother could definitely get a back a roll or some roll if they wanted him to have it. They don't, but it could definitely be there. But it's impressive that the Madden game is still reporting that he's better than three of these busters that are here now, which I already know because he should, he should still be starting right now. We're talking four and a half, almost five years. We're talking from when Trump called him out, said what he said the end of Obama to Trump and whatnot to Biden, and he could still be playing right now. Think about that for a moment. But the racist NFL don't want him. You know, I always say Negroes forget leadership. You don't have no black ownership. You got no black general, uh, not too many black general managers, no black commissioner. You just got a lot of snowball and a lot of whitewash. And ignorance and racism, which is systematic, and all that facade they put on last year about supporting black lives and all that, and Colin Kaepernick can't even get a ball boy gig, but yet the people who who tabulate and do, um, you know, the p analytics know he would still tabulate better than two or three of your so-called starting quarterbacks right now. That's pretty impressive for a guy who got white ball by the racist NFL. Give me your thoughts, too, about Calvin Kaepernick's Madden 22. Still saying he's better than three starting quarterbacks right now. 14 last year. That's still impressive, considering they whiteballed him. Please hit the like, subscribe, and welcome thoughts and comments. I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. And uh, it is one of the greatest injustices in sports and beyond. Entertainment supposed to be anything is possible. Why this man can't get a job in the NFL? It's still beyond me, but I know why, because it's systematic institutionalized racism and Roger Goodell and all those racist owners are showing their true colors. I'm out.